I've been joined on this hunt. Well, not that it is a hunt yet, but I've been joined on this quest to get to where we're going to hunt by Jimmy. Uh, this is up near his house, and this road, it's grown over a little bit, but it's actually all cobbled. This is an old drover's road. So we're just looking for somewhere where drovers may possibly have camped, and my car's just conked out. Ooh, we've just come miles up into the middle of nowhere, and we had a little bit of a... Yes, let me explain Richard's disaster. He stepped out of his van while leaving the engine running and managed to lock the keys in it. So we've now spent 20 minutes pulling fencing wire and driving the door open with a spade to actually get into the vehicle to get it moved from the middle of the road in the middle of nowhere. He's come in the field and walked 20 paces from the gate in a bad mood, dug a hole, look what he's found. And the silver of some sort. <laughs> I don't know whose it is. It's not an old one, it's just George V. I was excited there for a minute, but I mean, that's still a good find. Silver, silver. Silver, silver. That's a cracking start to the day, or night as it is. This is quite a deep hole, probably nine, ten inches deep for this little military button. Seems to have quite a lot of detail on it. So I'll give it a clean up and see what it's like at the end of the video. Jimmy's got a good signal here, reading, well, on mine it was reading 1245 which was kind of shilling country. So I'm kind of hoping it's a good coin, but not as good as the one I found. I'm hoping it's a slightly younger one. <laughs> no. It's a doorknob, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what? What on earth is that doing up here? Sure, it's not just a brass musket ball. <laughs> I think it must be, ah, uh, yes, ah. Uh. Or a cannonball. Let's keep your finger over that bit so the viewers can't see it. <laughs> what I thought it was about here. I ended my hunt with Jimmy. This is a new hunt with my son, James. We're in the coin shooting field, so James can try and find some coins. He'll probably find better ones than me. I'm using the E-Track with a big coil. I've forgotten my harness, so it's gonna be a bit of a tussle swinging it through this pretty long grass. James has got the Vista Gold. Uh, last time we used the Gold, it wasn't too good. The ground was absolutely sodden, and it was freaking out quite a lot. When we're out tonight, it seems to be running very stable. Um, I've whacked the discrimination up a little bit because there is quite a bit of iron in this ground and um, it's latched onto a good target here. So we're going to give it a dig and see what's there. Hope that was going through a stone and not a coin. <laughs> Oh, it might have been that. Do you think it might have been that? You want to go over it again, just, just to see? A bit further out. The little bottle with a metal cap. Unfortunately, I've hit the cap with a spade, so it's not really a collector piece. <laughs> it's, no, it's no good, but it would have been quite a nice little bottle, that. This is a bit of an iffy signal. It's um, jumping around a little bit. But when it does show on the screen, and it's not dropping into the, the discriminated bit, the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, it's hitting up towards top right hand side. So that's generally where silver and biggish copper hits. Definitely worth a dig. I've got a signal Have you? Yeah. Might be something very small in here. Nope. Uh. 
I think if that's a coin, yeah. <laughs> if that is a coin, that's a record. Let's have a look. No, I don't know, that's a lump of coke. It doesn't normally pick coke up. Unless we're missing something, which is even deeper. There's a tiny little bit of coke, which is almost 18 inches down, which is a hell of a depth, which makes me think that there's something else in here. There's still something in. Yeah. I'm still saying there's something in there. Right at the bottom of the depth gauge. I'm gonna get it, whatever it is, hopefully. Coin. <laughs> Silver. What is it then? Let's have a look. It better be an old one. <laughs> oh, it's not even very old. And I've hit it with a speed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll drop this. <laughs> that wasn't actually that deep. It was probably... Where did it come from? Eight or nine inches down. On its end though. And... It's a 1940 George the Sixth sixpence. In reasonable condition, apart from where I hit it with a spade. <laughs> Somewhere about here, James has got a decent signal as well. I'm not going to check it with the e track, shouldn't need to. Something in there. You can see it, it's there. <laughs> what is it? It's an old threepenny bit. Not the silver variety, unfortunately. Very faint, but maybe it's worth a dig. Right, then get in there and have a look. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, you can see it. Ah, it is a coin. That's a George the Sixth half penny. Terrible condition. And it's another coin. That one's a George the Sixth penny. It's a George the Sixth half penny on end. At about seven inches deep. Got a decent sort of a signal here. Oh, yeah. Reading 12.41 on the E-Track. It's a shallow one, but it's a nice one. Very nice one. It's a George the Fifth. It's a George the Fifth. Nineteen. What was it? Nineteen seventeen. Threepenny bit. 
Very nice indeed. <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> it's got an itchy backside, I think. <laughs> Go on, son. <laughs> anyway, back to reality. <laughs> We've got a decent sort of a signal down here. I told you it was doing that. It's reading 13... What was it reading? 1338, I think, on the E-track. Uh-oh. Horse is going near my metal detector. And smelling it's it. It's another George the Sixth half penny. We've just pulled a copper coin up from probably is about oh, nine, ten inches deep. And it looks like a George the Third. It is. George the Third half penny. It's actually in pretty good condition. Not bad. I would imagine it's got like a yeah, it's got like a shieldy sort of harpy thing on the back there. I don't want to rub it too much because it's it's got a lovely patina on it. I don't want to ruin that. It's a nice coin though. George the third half penny. Okay, back home now. And this is just a quick roundup of what I found on two very quick upland pasture hunts. One was with Jimmy and one was with my son, James. These are modern coins. One pence. Two pence. The state of that. Absolutely shocking. They're just made of pure rubbish in this country. That's a decimal ten pence. Not the one we use now, but the, the one previous to that. Big one. Again, rubbish. Modern twenty pence. Rubbish. A pound coin, terrible condition, but it'll probably still spend. Three decimal pennies. This one here looks pretty old. Not sure how old. Note on it. Three decimal half pennies. Most of those are George the Sixth. Three decimal threepenny bits. Well, actually, there wasn't a threepenny bit in the decimal. And moving on to the silver, a very nice 1917 threepenny bit. That's in great condition that. Just give it a quick rub with a bit of bacon soda and it's come up nice. A 1940 sixpence. A 1920 shilling. Hasn't come up so good that one. It's a little bit worn as well, but it's not too bad. Still silver. Makes me happy. Got quite a lot of detail on. Unfortunately, the back is terrible. And probably the best thing I found was this George III half penny. Hasn't got much on that side. But the portrait side's not bad, you can read all the writing. Georgius 3. If you compare that to my previous best George the Third half penny, I don't know which one I'd rather keep. Mind you, I did brutalise this one quite a lot when I was trying to clean it. This one has not been cleaned. I'll just give it a rub, take the heavy muck off. So that's it. Few coins there, three silver, one nice half penny, two quick hunts in beautiful scenery. See you next time. Thanks for watching.